Hello, and welcome to the Emerge Leadership Connection, where we connect you with the ideas and concepts to unlock legendary leadership so you can emerge and become who you were meant to be. I'm your host, Cody Dakota, and on this wonderful Wednesday, I will be your leadership coach, teacher, and mentor. On today's episode, we will talk about Plato's thoughts on victory, conquering, and self-mastery. If this is your first time listening to the Emerge Leadership Connection, stop immediately and go back to episode zero. If you want to get the full benefits that this podcast has to offer and emerge into who you were meant to be at a faster pace, then you will want to go back to that episode to understand the theory behind how each episode is designed to help you improve. Before we start the episode, I'd like to thank our supporters who allow us to continue to bring value to you while also allowing us to support amazing causes that will impact our future generations. If you would like to find out more about the causes we support, as well as how to become a member of our family and help us reach more people in order to impact our future, please go to www.emergeleadership.club where you can check out all of our episodes, including many supporter-only episodes, as well as get access to other exclusive member-only benefits. Again, that is www.emergeleadership.club to get that access and officially join our family. Also, while you're there, you should click the menu button and click on Books. My book, Legendary Leadership, How to Obtain Repeatable Monumental Results is currently in the running for the Extraordinary Award for coaches with ideas that can change people, businesses, and the future for the better, and I need your help to win the award. You will see some awesome benefits that you can get for supporting the book, including personalized signed copies by me, a chance to get a limited edition, legendary edition of the book, appearances on this podcast, and more. Remember, go to www.emergeleadership.club to check it out. Now, on to the show. Today's words of wisdom come from Plato, who said, The first and greatest victory is to conquer yourself. To be conquered by yourself is of all things most shameful and vile. Now, a lot of times with um, with the classical Greek philosophers, um, people have a challenging time just understanding what it is they're trying to get to. But I think this is a fairly straightforward concept from Plato. With this, he's talking about self-mastery, right? The first and greatest victory is to conquer yourself. That is, how do you become a master of yourself? And then on the opposite side, if you allow yourself to be conquered by yourself, that is shameful and vile. And so what, what does that second part mean? I think that is where some people might get tripped up. How do you get conquered by yourself? Um, and I believe that a large part of that actually comes down to habits. Your habits are going to determine whether you can be the conqueror of yourself or to be conquered by yourself. So, so many times people have just terrible habits plaguing their life. Um, and it's going to be different for different people. Uh, for me, one, one of my worst addictions is caffeine. Um, and it is something that I've struggled with for a really long time. Now, it's gotten to a better point than it was in the past, but it still is something that is a challenge in my life, and it's a challenge that many people face. And what is the consequences of that? Uh, if you're a caffeine addict like me, you know that if you don't get that caffeine, typically, one, you don't have energy. Two, you're the most pissed off person in the world, and no one wants to be around you at that time. I know for a fact that I've been that person when I don't get the caffeine. There's terrible headaches that come along with it and, and more um, that goes with that. But along with this, there's, I mean, there's lots of other ways you can be conquered. It's not necessarily caffeine 
or nicotine or, you know, drugs or alcohol. I mean, all of these things can definitely be shameful and vile, as as Plato puts it. But there are other ways to be conquered by yourself. It's actually really funny. I was having this conversation with one of my clients recently. Uh, and we were talking about how we don't necessarily see it. It's not like a physical addiction that we have, but rather an emotional addiction. So many people are addicted to watching the TV. What is that favorite show that comes on? Do you know exactly what time it comes on at? Are you looking forward to that new episode that's coming out for your entire week until it does come out? That is where people are allowing themselves to be controlled, allowing themselves to be conquered. Um, But I think the most vile and shameful ones are the ones that appear good on the outside. And when you take a closer look at them, you realize that they're actually not serving you the way they're supposed to be serving you. Classic, classic example is with books in personal development. There are people who love to read all of the books in personal development. They'll have read every possible book from this side of the world to the next in the personal development world, and they'll be able to quote everything exactly, and yet they have done nothing that those books talk about in their own lives. How does that happen? Well, it's because they're allowing that to conquer them, their desire to get more knowledge and not put it to use, but just continue to build up that knowledge. It's a trap that many of us have faced. I faced it myself. And that that's where I think this gets most tricky. So then the question is, how is it to, how is it that you overcome something that seems good on the outside, but isn't really serving you when you look at it. And I believe the answer to that is to really look at it and ask, what is the end purpose of this, right? With personal development, the end purpose should be helping you get towards your goals more quickly. Is it actually doing that? This podcast is designed to give you a period to to actually stop and figure out how do you use this information to be beneficial. That's because in the personal development world, I see this as a major challenge where people are conquered by themselves because they don't actually figure out how to utilize the information, which is why I purposely designed this, ep- this well, every episode, but this podcast to make you really think about how are you going to take this information that you have in front of you now and actually apply it. And that's what you're looking for. Don't be conquered by yourself, but figure out what is serving you towards your end goals and what isn't serving you towards your end goals. Are you going to be the conqueror of yourself or are you going to be conquered by yourself? Are you going to be victorious or are you going to be shameful and vile? The answer to that is completely up to you. But you have to stop and think about it, reflect on it. You have to see what habits are serving you and which habits are not serving you. And that is going to lead us into our coaching questions for the day. Where in your life are you conquering yourself? Where in your life are you allowing yourself to be conquered? What does the greatest victory look like to you? And what is the path to get there? What would look shameful and vile and is the one thing that you want to avoid at all costs? How are you going to avoid it?
Welcome back, and congratulations. You are one step closer to becoming who you were meant to be. I'm excited to hear about the fantastic takeaways you got from this episode. I'd love to hear from you, so go over to www.emergeleadership.club right now and click on the tab to see how to contact us, as well as to see our other amazing services. While you're there, if you would like to emerge into who you were meant to be even faster, then you'll want to officially join our family by clicking on the Become a Patron button, where you can gain access to exclusive member-only content that is absolutely amazing, including access to supporter-only podcasts, Q&A sessions directly with me, and the ability to get shout-outs on future episodes, all while also helping to support some amazing causes which are actively working towards improving the future for generations to come. Just to make sure you got it, to join our family and get access to this exclusive member-only content and help some amazing causes at the same time, go over to www.emergeleadership.club and click on the Become a Patron button right now. I'm your host, Cody Dakota, and I'm honored to have spent this time with you today. My final message for you today, and listen closely. It's time. Wake up your potential, let go of your fears and anxieties, and let's discover what is possible. Emerge and become who you were meant to be.